Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Eastbourne Fisherman. This week I've come out with Cliff, uh, who has returned from the northern lands, back down to the south. Uh, we'll have a chat with him in a second. Uh, I'm down White Horses at Pevensey Bay today, going to give it a fish um, and see how we get on. There's no plans of you know, what to catch. I just want to try and redeem myself uh, on the sessions that I've been fishing on my own uh, and try and catch a couple of fish. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see how we get on. Right, so I'm all set up, one rod. One rod tonight, using the uh, Wessex rig. Uh, I've just got a bit of worm thrown out in a minute. We've got worm, squid and mackerel tonight as the chosen baits. Um, and I've just literally thrown it out, lobbed it out, and uh, we're just going to have a fish and see how we get on. Cliff's over here, is waiting patiently with his rod. How are you doing Cliff, you alright? Very good. Yeah? I thought I had some twitches, so I'm just expecting a bite. Sounds good to me mate, sounds good to me. Cliff's using a pulley rig tonight and he's baited up with, well you got prawn on there? I've got a, a small whole squid. Small whole squid to start with. Yeah. Nice one, nice one. Good rig. Give it a go. Right, so just having a look up and down the water mark, there's quite a lot of crab shells and mussels and razor fish. Those are little shells washed up along the Sure. It's good, obviously, it's been really windy over the last couple of days. Loads and loads of shells washed up. Don't know what that is, that's a bit weird. Right, guys, so I've caught a fish, it isn't a blank. A nice little dogfish, which is there, which is actually, it's actually coming in at sizeable at 43 centimetres, but it's very, very thin. So, yeah, I'll show you on the ruler, and we're getting back in. We'll beat the blank, a dogfish to start the session off with. Happy days. Right, I'm just going to measure the fish out, just to show you guys on the ruler. So, head's at the top, which is there, and the tail's at the end there, coming in at, oh, it's actually coming in at 44. Happy days. Right, guys, so there's not much to report on the fish in front. I've had one dogfish and I've missed a bite on prawn, which is a bait that I haven't actually tried before, uh, which Cliff has in his bag, so we're giving that a go. Um, apart from that, it's been pretty slow to be fair with you. Uh, we're about two hours into the session now, um, and we're still fishing the tide up. The high tide's about 11 o'clock tonight, we're roughly about 8 o'clock now. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on and see if any more fish turn up. All right, so Cliff just had a really nice bite deciding whether or not to pull or to replace the rod back on the tripod at the minute. Yeah, absolutely cracking bite. I think we're going for a replacement. My rod's sitting nicely. Nice and still. Very quiet night tonight, very quiet so far. A couple of bites here and there. So a couple of little inquiries on the rod there. Uh, a nice big bite followed by a couple of little short taps. So I'm just going to wait to see if it goes again and then uh, we will... There we go, we'll give that a reel and see if we can grab the fish. It wasn't a bite, but Rod really went in. Lovely. Oh, that's a little cut. It's a little cut. 
Absolutely awesome. Right, boys and girls, we've done it. We've done it. This is what we come for. Nice fat one. Nice fat codlet. Absolutely awesome. Happy days, man. Happy days. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get a quick measurement of this one and then we'll send it back on its way. Right, let's measure this out. It's quite a fat one. Um, coming in at. 38 so it's within the size that you can take but to be fair with you this one's going to go back for quite another day anything above 41 i think i'll be taking home to eat but this guy can go back and hopefully we'll be able to catch a slightly bigger one right so cliff just had an almighty bite and as he was trying to film me reeling my fish <laughs> his rod went over and um attended to the rod and we reeled it in it was it was heavy coming in very heavy heavy coming in very and heavy. then reeled in and then it looks like it's been bitten off that's the end where the hook was and it's a pretty clean cut through there so uh, yeah it's a bit of a bummer but hey that's the way it goes sometimes bit of fish action Don't bit mind of fish that. action yeah new rig required new rig sorted out all right second time lucky then I think my, my light's about to fade. I need a battery change, I think. Do we have a fish? Oh, oh man. And that was a big bait. Look at the spot. Well, so we decided to change to a big bait. Look at the size of this eel. Probably the biggest eel I've had. Look at the cliff's hands compared to its head. I've got big hands. Oh man, I'm so excited about this one. I cannot wait to weigh this fish. Look, Look at the size of that eel, man. Look at the size of the bait. That's the bait there. Taking the bottom hook. Oh man, that I'm absolutely psyched. Perfect. perfect. What a fish. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is set the scales to zero, uh, which is there. So zero pounds, zero ounces. And I'm just going to weigh the fish in the bag. And we'll get the, the weight. Oh, man, my hands are shaking. Absolutely crazy. So I'm just going to weigh the fish now, lifting the fish off the floor. There we go. So we're 14 pound 5 ounces. That is definitely my PB Conga off the shore. I'm absolutely ecstatic. What a fish, man. What a fish. Right, guys, so this fish is absolutely huge. I don't know how I'm going to pick it up to get it on the camera. Um, <laughs> let's just try and go for it, I think. It's actually massive. Oh, man. Look at the size of that fish. Absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. Look at it, man. What a fish. Absolutely massive. So heavy. Absolutely cracking. Just for a quick size comparison, there's my scales next to his head. <laughs> this fish is a, this fish is an absolute beast, absolute beast. Right, just get a quick measurement of the fish then. So zero there, going all the way down to the end of the measure. He isn't straight. He goes straight off the measure at 120. I reckon he's about 100, may, maybe 125, 126, maybe. Not 100 percent sure, but he's definitely bigger than the measure we got here. Right, guys. So sometimes it definitely does pay to put a big bait out. Look at the state of that mackerel pungent mackerel I've had in my uh, bait freezer for uh, since the mackerel season caught on the bottom hook there uh, wire trace just thrown out really close in I'm no expert but man just caught my PB eel awesome right so the rain's coming down nice and hard I'm gonna go back with the conga bait I'm just gonna throw it back out so bottom hook there top hook through the mouth uh, I'm just gonna throw it out and see if a uh, Another eel wants to play ball. Sat down for two seconds to grab a little bite to eat. We get some nice taps now on the uh, squid, which is fired out of distance. There we go. Let's have a look see what we've got then. Right, so another dogfish me on the whole squid. This one coming out slightly bigger at 54. Absolutely awesome. Right, so we're just packing up now. Any last words from Cliff? 
fantastic night. You did really well, mate. Well done. Cheers, man. Cheers. I had a few fish on the line, which was really good, but I couldn't bring them in. So. You lost a decent fish close in. Yeah. 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 So it was a very good night. So. Uh, yeah, cheers for sharing it with us, yeah. mate. It's been good. Right, guys, that's the end of this week's session. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about the session. Man, what a session it was. Uh, PB Conga, a couple of dogfish and a cod. What's not to like? Definitely better than the last couple of sessions. Just goes to show you that you put in the time and the hard work. Get down the beach and give it the hours. You can definitely catch the fish. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.